I'm gonna go over a nut and bolt thread checker. And this is from the company Sentinanimo. I think's how you would say that. I do have another set of uh, thread checker by the, these guys and they have done absolutely amazing work. I, I highly recommend this company, very premium products. Let me just kind of like go over some of the, you know, product specifications here. There's 12 metric sizes, anything from an M4 to an M12, and there's 14 inch sizes, everything from a 632 to a, a quarter 20. Unlike the other one that mounts on the wall where you have to actually have the bolt to test and the nut to test, Let's say I have like a threaded tap somewhere. I don't know what it is. Well, that's where this set will come in handy. So let me just open it up. You get it, it comes in this nice little package right here. And this right here, I don't know what this thing is. What is this thing? So this thing is some sort of hook. Oh, I guess you would hang it up. So there's like a hanger if I want to put it somewhere. Let me just open this thing up. Very nice little set right here. And it comes with this padding and it goes over all of the sizes here, but they are labeled here. And the machining on this is very high quality. You could see that right there. It's, it's a very high quality machining on this thing. Whoever did the, like the CNC and the product placement did a really good job. So what makes this handy? Like I was saying, let's say I've got a tapped area right here. Well, what size is that? And I'm like, I don't know. We could sit here and try 10 different screws until we eventually find it. Then maybe not even have it. What if it's a, an, Ameri uh, an Imperial or a metric? Then you know exactly what it is. So if I have a nut or a screw or a tap, let's say there's a thread sticking out, I can screw that on and let me know what size it is. Let me go ahead and test some of this. Let's say I've, I've got a bike and I've got like a threaded area. Let me test some of it and let's see how it works. So let me let me show you exactly why this is very handy to have. Okay, everybody, here we are. I have the GoTrax Dolphin uh, e-bike here. And let's say we wanted to order a, ca a back rack for it. Well, what size bolt is this right here? Does anybody know? Well, I have no clue. You see that? So there's a tapped, that's been tapped into the frame right there. So what's your options? Well, your options is to get a bunch of screws and keep trying it until we figure it out. I'm gonna guess an M4. So here's my kit. So, you know, I have my little Cento kit here. Let's just go down. Here's an M4. Well, it, I mean, that's an M10. This is an M4. Well, it's not an M4. See, I would have been wrong. M M5, uh-oh, I think, so I was close. Look at that. So now we know, see that? Now, how would I know that without having this little thread checker kit? So it's an M5 point, so it's an M5, which is a 0 0.8 bolt. So let's try a 1032 just to make sure. Yeah, I can tell a 1032 is already locking up in it. See that? So then where's another bolt? Are these all M5s? That's probably an M5, there's an M5. So these are all gonna be M5s, so that is for like a front fender. That's an M6. Now see, if I would have ordered an M5, it would not have worked. So now see, this is what I'm talking about as far as like having a kit like this that could really save you time and money and kind of like make things just less of a headache to work on. Because if I would have ordered this, I might have to order screws with it too. So an M5 for these back tap ones, M6 for the tap up there. So yeah, there it is everybody. That's all I got today on the nut and bolt thread checker. Check it out. See y'all in the next video.